That's my YouTube channel if you want to see yourself be. Yeah, he's, making, he's making concept and I'm working. You know, like, this, I'm this is a manager, as I understand, of Food for Less. Logical malfunction. Well, just about complete technological malfunction. Um, did, did you guys see him, this guy in my face, in the beginning of this live stream? Yes or no? You can't go back to watch from where you started. Oh, fuck. Okay, so to recap with you guys, if you guys can hear me, actually, if the connection is actually working right now. Ah, oh, fuck, it didn't catch it. Okay, well, I still have video of the incident. Uh, see, here's what happened. I went to a Food for Less, and I, I didn't even know, like, like, who this was between. All of a scene what was one guy up in the face of another guy's face. They were starting to fight. Uh, one was accusing another of shoplifting, I guess. And it turned out it was an, not just an employee, but the store manager for a Food for Less. And they got into a fight and threw some punches. The, the other guy spit on the, on the Food for Less manager. And I recorded the whole thing, okay? And then I start walking back to my car. And all of a sudden, the Food for Less manager guy comes up to me all aggressive and pissed off trying to snatch my phone and my keys from me, physically trying to snatch my phone and my keys out of my hand, just saying that he can't let me get away with that video and that I can't be recording him and that he needs me to delete it right now. Like, literally got up in my face, confronting me. I have witnesses, like, like two different families. To, like, it's a crowded parking lot. People were around. People saw him, like, literally right in front of the damn store. And people were like, oh my god, like, we saw the whole thing. Like, this guy was, like, right up in your face trying to get up in your car and grab it on you. And I was like, yeah, and, like, I, I had a little pop socket. That's what they're called, pop sockets that stick on the back of your phone and that they pop out. And, it, you know, you use, you use it as a handle to hold your, your phone in your hand easier so you don't drop it. This guy yanked on my phone so hard, he broke the fucking pop socket, just ripped it straight in half. And he, he, he's, like, in my face threatening me and all this shit like he's a fucking manager for fucking food for less the other guy he, he had like a bloody nose or something and and he was like threatening to call corporate and get the guy fired i'm like okay fine you know that's between a shoplifter and you know i'm just a, and you know third party you know just you know I, I, I'm, I'm filming in public you know i just happen to be here i just you know so i start filming and then all of a sudden he goes after me for filming not even having anything to do with it, apart from just having my, my phone out, just to, to film some footage of, of the whole thing, and no, they didn't, oh, fucking trolls, man, fucking trolls never listen, no, dude, it, it was another person, I wasn't shoplifting, stupid ass, this is between two other people, but fucking idiot, trolling idiots don't listen, they're just constantly itching to spread bullshit, so anyway, I'm waiting on the cops right now, and... Like, I tried to live stream, I, I, my battery was dying, the internet connection was going out, and I was trying to go up to, like, the front door of the store. The cops have been called everything, everything, everything. And and, and, and this guy, he, well, when I started live streaming, he came up, he came out of the store. He literally came out of the store. Oh, you know what, here he is again. Let me see if, I, I think I'm going to catch him on video this time. That's him right there, walking around in the store. Shit, can't even really. He's walking to the back, fucking coward. I'm gonna get him fired, this motherfucker. He, he came out earlier. I was trying to get it on, on camera on live stream. And he, he, I had literally had a security guard with a body cam rolling, like literally standing right next to me. And like this dude wanted to hurt me so bad. And he's like, look, yo, this is my job. You don't fuck with my job, you know, just to get content for your little channel, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, damn straight. <laughs> I told him right in his face, like and when he said, this is my job, I'm like, not for long, not for much longer. I'm going to, I'm going to fuck this guy's life up. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this shit. Like, I, I can't do anything without running into fucking problems. Like, literally, all I did, all I did was record video 
of something happening between two completely different separate people that I had no part of and he and he shows up <laughs> like getting in my face literally trying to take my damn phone out of my hand ripping my damn pop socket straight in half the cops have been I, I called the cops the security for this shopping center parking lot called the cops and I'm sure the manager is also calling the cops because he said he came out saying that I'm harassing him now I'm just I, I didn't even go inside the store I, I just from where you guys saw from where I was swimming earlier from outside the doors I didn't even I, I was even further back than that and the security guard was like hey you know like you know I, I, I don't want this guy you know he's already kind of a hothead I don't want you kind of like instigating him further and I'm like, well, I mean, like, I'm not doing anything. I'm just, I'm, I'm just standing outside here. I'm gonna get him YouTube famous, and I'm gonna get him fired. You know, I'm waiting for the cops. And so, that's where we're at now. The little coward ran to the back, but I seen him earlier. I'm gonna fuck this guy's life up. Like, you mess with the wrong, you, you mess with the wrong homeless YouTuber, pal. I'm gonna, I'm. <laughs> this guy's so fucked. This guy's so fucked. So he's going to be de dealing with the cops and with the court system. I'm, I'm going to press charges for assault, for property damage, for everything. Fuck this guy. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Let me know if you guys can still hear me. And if anybody wants to jump on this early and call... Uh, well, it's not Food for Less. It's the Kroger. Kroger Corporate. Kroger owns Food for Less. Ralph's. Uh, Kroger, that they brand their source Kroger in other states, not in California. Anyway, they have they have they they have a whole bunch of you know different stores, different brands under the, their umbrella. Um, if anybody wants to call Kroger Corporate, I don't I don't have this guy's name yet, but hopefully when the cops show up and we get this guy to come out and we get his full name and everything and get him on the police report and everything. And I'll, I'll, I'll put him on blast as soon as I find out what this guy's name is. I'll put him on blast. I'll go, you know, first and last name if I'm able to get it. Put this on the news. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not shutting up. I'm not going away. I'm not letting this go. This motherfucker came up to me trying to grab my phone and my car keys and my fucking car keys, like trying to prevent me from fucking leaving. Like, I was a fucking criminal, just for recording him. Just for recording him. Like, I didn't even get a chance to go in and try to get anything from Food for Less. I was just here to buy, like, half a gallon of milk, maybe some water or whatever. And this motherfucker, like, come on now. No. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. I'm high on, on adrenaline right now. I'm fucking pumped. I'm fucking pissed. My heart's fucking racing. I feel like whooping some ass right now. Like, this guy literally comes up to my fucking car, trying to, like, prevent me from leaving, trying to grab my phone. And the thing is, I, I thought I got it on dash cam, but I was trying to save some other footage from earlier from something else, and I didn't have the damn dash cam running. Fuck, man. It would have been perfect. It would have been fucking perfect. But I did, as I said, I did catch video of him throwing punches and throwing like whatever shoplifted items or whatever it was at the at the other guy uh, that he gave a, a bloody nose to or bloody lip or whatever it was. I don't know. He had blood on his face. Um, no, I'm not going to forget this. I'm going to ruin this guy's life. I'm going to ruin this guy's life. Straight up. This guy done and pissed me off. If I see him again, I'll put him on camera too. This guy done pissed me the fuck off. It's been like like an hour, well maybe not an hour yet, close close to an hour. My witnesses already left, but they left their contact information with me. I'm sure this little pussy ass coward's running all the way to the back in those little office trying to call the police saying, oh, this guy's harassing me, uh, when they've already gotten the police, you know, local PD around here has already gotten two calls about this incident, and 
at least two calls. Where's this little pussy ass piece of shit? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go inside the store. I'm not gonna push it that far. I don't I'm not I'm not like really trying to get in trouble here, but I mean, technically, I haven't been trespassed. I haven't been told I can't enter the store. But... No, he wasn't, he wasn't being beat up. He was the one doing the beating up. He was throwing punches at this guy. And then he comes at me for recording him. When I didn't even have anything to do with any of it. I'm just an innocent bystander. What's up, Z Corp Alpha? Oh, I'll call Kroger, the CEO, Give me a 499 super chat. Thank you for that so much, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe I can't even go to fucking food for less and try to get like some milk. No, I I was told that he left already. I get I don't know why. I was just wondering if he ever came back out. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping he'd stick around to give his report report to the police. But uh, are you the 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 store security or the? I'm the store security. Do you know the manager's name so I can like call corporate on him or something? Uh, his name is Eric. I don't know his name is what? Eric. Eric. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, all right. All right, well, thanks. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the cops so I can give them my report and everything and get this, and get Eric fired. <laughs> yeah. Are you good though? Oh, I mean, I was going to go shopping. I had to go to the bathroom and take a shit, but I mean, like, I mean, technically I haven't been trespassed or anything. I'm, I'm, I didn't even go to the store store yet. All, all I did was record in the parking lot and... Get him on video. I mean, I'm just live streaming right now, just waiting for the cops so I can give him my my statement. And Pop sockets do not cost 99 cents. They cost 10 bucks. What's up, Pyramid Head? 138. So I was just talking to security right now. They were asking me if the... Uh, but the other guy that got a bloody face was still here if he left. Tariq24, thank you so much for the 100 SEK. Which I guess is about, what, 9, 10 bucks? Brian, stay safe, buddy. Thank you so much, Tariq24. Hopefully y'all can still, still hear me. So both of you guys may call the PD? I, I called my own job just because what I do is different. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean like like I called, yeah, I guess you called. Yeah, I just and then called. and then I'm sure he went the Eric, the manager, probably went and called and ran into the office. Hey, police, police, guys harassing me. He, he won't stop the video recording me, arrest him. I'm not sure if he did that. He pro he probably is. He, he, he seen me standing out here again. He ran to the back. I'm not even gonna go inside. I'm not even like, I'm not even trying to do that. But, yeah, that's but I just let them know, like, hey, I'm still here. And you're still gonna get in trouble. I'm, you know, this isn't gonna go away. <laughs> uh, 
I'll put this on NBC, CBS. I got video of the original fight that yeah. the man, Eric, the manager, throwing punches yeah, and throwing, yeah. throwing objects. I literally came out. Yeah, that happened. Can I see the video? Uh, yeah, um, it's on your other phone. Yeah, it's on this one. Yeah. Do you mind if I also see it too? I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. And yeah. It's up to you, man. I don't want to invade yeah. your privacy, bro. Oh no, I mean it's a video of him and whoever he was beating up. It's clear. I'm, I, it's going on. I, I just haven't got a chance to like upload it onto my YouTube channel, but it's gonna be up up on my my channel too. So here's. You just heard the commotion, man. So I was at my post, and both the doors were closed, so I couldn't hear. I heard it goes. Uh, but yeah. you saw him running out. Huh? Yeah, I saw. I came out here, and I saw them down there, so I started oh, moving that way. Yeah. Throwing punches and throwing stuff. So that's exactly when I came out. And then, yeah, that happened. The other guy was wearing like all black too, kind of. Yeah. It was dark colors. Yeah. Like dark blue, dark something. That's yeah. when you came out. Yeah. You. Yeah. So I, I, I just I recorded for a few more seconds, and I went to my car, and then I stopped recording, and then that's when he comes up to my car and tries to grab my phone and my car keys out of my hand, saying that you, I can't let you record me like that, and you need did to you, delete that video you didn't right get now. That part on video? No, 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 I wish I did. Because at first it didn't look like he even saw you recording him. Because no. he was sick. Yeah, he wasn't even, he didn't seem to be paying attention even. And then no. like, 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 like he was coming back into the store. I was going back to my car. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, he's just up in, up in my face at my door trying to grab my car keys and my phone. Yeah. He's all like huffing and puffing and out of breath. He's like, oh, I, I can't let you I can get, keep that recording. You got to delete that right now. You got to like, like, whoa, like, what the fuck? <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Still shaking. Yeah. That, I get it, man. It's scary. That guy pissed me. I mean, like, like what did I do? All I, I, I wasn't the one in there shoplifting. Like, I'm just out here in the parking lot, about to go in. I just seen something. I start recording. Then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm being targeted. Oh, there's a, there, there's a pussy ass piece of shit. Pe coward piece of shit, Eric. That's his name, by the way, guys. Eric. I don't know his last name. Eric is his name. Is it possible to actually get, uh, how, how, who do I contact to get the footage from that camera so, right there? That will be up to the police. Um, oh. They're pressing the investigation with them. With them. They'll, they'll uh, request the footage from the manager, uh -huh. someone else other than him, obviously. And, uh, Hopefully he's not going to deleting it right now. No, he, he can't do that. Oh, okay. Like thing, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. They'll just use that as a, their investigation. Because last time there was something here, the cops came and they asked them for the footage. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'd love to get that and even see if I can get a hold of it and put it on my YouTube channel, too. <laughs> That'd be interesting. You, might, you would probably have to ask the cops. I'm not sure. It's, just, it's all, it really all depends on the police. Anything uh, that has to do with storage and their security cameras, it's all This is not public footage, but it's private. Oh. Like my CCTV, post yeah. that's like me. But once they open oh. the investigation and it does become public, then it's free to oh. like, uh, like whenever you see stuff on YouTube of the security cameras, that's all public footage. Yeah, because they got released. The yeah. Hmm. Well, it's taking the cops long enough. Yeah. Okay. See the last guy right here is a. Uh, oh no, the last one. The outside. 
it's on the weekends when this day is like, you know, like April 10th. Oh. Yeah, I'm here till 12. Why would I ask for a job? So I can be showing up half awake, smelling like armpits, with my wrinkled clothes. Some of you guys still don't get it. Well, guys, what an interesting night. What an interesting night. Like I said, can't even, can't even try to go to food for less, take a shit, buy a half gallon of milk without some bullshit happening. It's just amazing. Like, I could be sitting in a parking lot, minding my own business, random people come up, trying to open my door, trying to start a fight with me, punch in my window. I try to record something that's going on around me. I get someone coming up to me, trying to grab my phone, grab my car keys, all up in my face, threatening physical harm. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, I can't just exist and be and then, you know, and buy food, sit in my car, not bothering anybody. I mean, come on. This is, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. Everything is just such fucking flaming, raging bullshit. I just can't fucking take it anymore. I can't fucking believe this shit. I can't fucking believe this shit. I can't fucking do anything in peace. Can't do anything in peace. It's, it's just, it, it's amazing. It's amazing, guys. It's, it's fucking mind blowing. It's, it's like borderline incomprehensible. The kind of shit. Oh, I'm not going to let this guy break me as a man. In fact, I'm going to see if I can let this guy make this guy get me out of homelessness when I sue the shit out of him, press charges. See how much I can get. Maybe then I can finally buy some kind of van or RV or whatever the fuck. Just so at least I don't have to be sleeping in my fucking car. Can't even lay flat, sleeping like shit every day, going insane. I mean, at least, at least it'll be a little bit better if I had a, a little bit better of a living space that I can actually properly sleep and maybe hold down. Up. Oh my God! There's that word, that J word. Might actually get a job if I could actually sleep and function like a human being.
but I can't believe this. So I don't know. I mean, there must have been at least maybe two or three calls to the P to the police to the PD department around here, and there's just. I mean, I, I thought by the time I had been streaming for a few minutes at least, there would, you know, the cops would get here and then I could start streaming the whole, that whole thing, but then hopefully get this guy out so I could get him on, on camera, on, you know, on video, on live stream, but I don't know. And this guy went to go hide. He was at the register earlier. I could see him from the outside, but... He went to go hide. He would stick his tail between his legs, hiding under his manager desk, freaking out, wondering what he's going to do now. Well, I mean, he's the one that fucked up. He's the one throwing punches at someone. Now, granted, I mean, I guess the, the other guy, you know, he shoplifted and he, and he spit on the guy, but, you know, they were all up in each other's face, and then he, he, the other guy spits on him, and then he starts throwing punches, and they start throwing objects, and, like, shit gets crazy. Man, I really want this guy to come out. I really want to confront him on camera. But even better, if I can do it when the cops are here, then he can try to explain away. I can show the cops the video that I got of him. Oh, he's going to get fired. I'm going to try to get him arrested. Everything. Everything, guys. Come on. Where's the pigs when you need them? Going on 30 minutes, half an hour so far into this live stream. Still no sign. No police. Security already went back to what they were doing. The pussy ass piece of shit manager Eric went to go hide. I'm about to ruin his life. He's not going to have a job. I mean, if he would have never approached me, never tried to do anything to me, <clears throat> it, it could have just been thrown up on YouTube. Probably nobody would, would have even known which store it was, what his name was, nothing. It would have just been me, you know, little old me, posting a video of some altercation in a Food for Less shopping center parking lot, and that would have probably been the end of it. You know, but this guy decides to come after me, get in my face, try to make me delete my video, trying to grab my phone and my car keys out of my hand. So now... I'm going to fuck up his life. Going to get him fired. Ruin. Just, I'm going to ruin everything. I'm going to. Hopefully he'll get evicted. Fall behind on his rent. Get evicted. Become homeless like me. Hopefully worse. Oh yeah. I'm the kind of guy that w wishes the worst. And you know. The worst luck. And you know. W w w most like horrific events. Are my worst enemies. I don't care. I do. Everyone says, oh, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Well, I do. I want him homeless like me or worse. I'm going to get him fired from his job. Hopefully he has a family too. He'll fall behind on the rent, fall behind on the mortgage, get evicted. Well, I'm an angry, yeah. Call me an angry piece of shit if you want. I've been stepped on, kicked, spit on too much by society. I'm already homeless myself, going through enough bullshit and suffering, and you are not going to come, you know, out of your way to get in my face, to come and make my life even more stressful, even more difficult than it already it fucking is, you know, that's just bullshit, you, you don't do that, you don't fucking do that. Brian, Brian, be reasonable. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be very reasonable. This guy's going to get what's coming to him. Karma's a bitch. You don't come out and assault someone as an employee, that not just as an employee, but as a damn manager, <laughs> you know, of a large food chain as Kroger. You do not 
come up to a homeless guy who's just recording you beating up a shoplifter and then get in his face and try to, you know, threaten him and damage his property and all this and that. You, no. That's where he crossed the fucking line. That's why I'm making it my life mission to ruin this man's life. I'm fucking pissed, guys. I'm fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. So fucking pissed. You know, as if, like, like I said, I'm already homeless. As if I'm not already stressed, on edge, sore, sleep deprived, all of that, as, as enough as it is. No, 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 no. No. This is fucked. This is fucked. You just don't do this type of shit to someone. Fuck this guy. I'm gonna ruin his life. I'm gonna make it my life mission. Just like the trolls have made it their life mission to try and keep me from ever being able to get or hold a job and get out of homelessness. Well, I'm gonna make it my life mission to make sure this guy never works for Food for Less or Kroger. Or maybe anything else ever again. Because well, as soon as I find, find out all his info, his last name, Eric, what, whatever his name is, I'm going to put it all out there, his face, everything. He's going to be known everywhere. Well, I don't know if it'll blow up that big, but I'm just going to put all everything I got, I got out there. See, you know, what kind of views it gets. Let me see if I can even maybe upload it separately. Let me see if I, I can uh, get on, let me see if I can actually use Food for Less's Wi-Fi to upload video of the Food for Less manager assaulting someone. And let me see if I can, uh, let me see, I do, have, I do seem to have some signal here, I just need to, let me see if I can clean and enhance this footage and edit it, edit it together and put my logo on it and everything while I'm live streaming. See if I can multitask. Oh, here. Look. What can we have here, guys? Showtime. Here we are. Well, I guess I better not start the upload process now. Just a little shaken up, and but so I got here to food for less. I was just gonna come use the bathroom, buy some milk, and I as I was in the parking lot, I seen I didn't know who it was at first. I just seen like an altercation, someone getting in someone else's face or cussing them out, you motherfucker, and chasing him, and, and uh, they're just like like you know just, just getting really out of hand. And he started like, like um, I guess like one of them accused the other of shoplifting. Then the other guy spit in his face. They started throwing punches. They th started throwing objects. I wasn't part of any of it, but I was recording with my phone. That's all I did. I just recorded video of it with my phone. I went back to my car. Then the other guy, he, it turns out he's a manager, Eric, of this food for less. He went into, the, he was walking towards here. I thought he was walking to my car. Then next thing you know, the Eric is up in my face, manager of food for less, up in my face at my car trying to grab my phone out of my hand he broke the the pop socket the thing that, that i hold you know the, the handle for my phone so i don't drop it he, he grabbed it out of my hand so hard it broke in half and he was saying you need to delete that footage i can't let you leave with that footage and then he tried to grab my car keys out of my hand and he was all like huffing and puffing out of breath adrenaline still pumping he's like really pissed off and like like he like, like he was threatening like he was like like he was going to hurt me or something i mean i didn't know what he was going to do 
and I had witnesses right there. They left already because you guys took so long to get here. But I got a business card from one, and I got a phone contact from another one. Sorry, yeah, so I, I, I got two uh, witnesses. I, I have your contact information for both if you want to. Okay, so what do you, so you reported an altercation between the manager and someone that he was. Accusing of shoplifting. Right, so then what prompted you to start reporting? I'm a YouTuber. Oh. So anything, you know, I'm live streaming right now. Anything, you know, I catch happening, I, I put on YouTube. It, it gets me ad revenue. Yeah, it you know makes sense. It's a little business. Yeah, and okay. so like I, I didn't try to like like get get involved. I didn't try to enter. I, I all the, I, I stand. You know, I was far back, just recording on my phone, and then he comes after me yeah. to my car. Did you, did you speak to him during the incident at all? No, not he at all. Not at all. Yeah, he just noticed that I was filming, and then came after me. Okay. What would you like us to do? How can I help you? I'd like to press charges and, if possible, get him arrested for assault because he not only assaulted me, that the other guy he left, but he gave him a bloody nose. Uh, since you're the only person here, you're the only victim, I can get your information and I'll go speak to him. Okay. Um, since I'd love to get him fired, too. That's not very... Okay, I see what you're saying. The point is, is so what you're describing is, is a misdemeanor assault and battery, right? Uh-huh. He damaged Pro your property. Property damage, yeah. Right. So that's essentially it. So I'm going to go talk to him. Um, I'll get your information and we'll see if you want to do a private person's arrest at that point. Um, I can't promise you that I'll, I'll take him to jail physically, mm -hmm. but I might be able to give him a citation and then you guys can have your day in court, okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. If it was a felony, I could take him to jail. Uh, he would go physically to jail. Uh, it's just like a traffic ticket where he signs it here. It's a promise to appear in court and plead his case, and then you would also have to go to court as the victim and say, hey, this is what happened, okay? okay. Because it's a misdemeanor not to be in our presence, essentially you're making the arrest by signing that piece of paper. Uh, and we're just doing the work on your behalf. Oh, and I, I was going to say, too, I was talking to or, 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 the other guy. There's a camera right there, which would should have caught everything, because my car is right and there. you have it on footage as well, right? Or only the initial? I, I only have the initial incident. I, I have a dash cam in my car, which I thought was running, which I didn't happen to have it running at the time, which would have been perfect. I would have caught it, and I could have shown it to you. But I could show you the footage of, yeah. of the guy, yeah, the I fight. Yeah, once I get your information, I'll look at that, and then um, I can contact, not that manager, but I'll get something else for the, uh, for the camera footage. And then where were you parked? Oh, it's the the silver the, Ford Focus right there, oh, little okay. hatchback. Gotcha. And then which side of the car did you confront you on? The driver's side. I, I went back to sit in the driver's side, and I was, like, getting ready, gonna, gonna, like, going to get my wallet and stuff and get ready to go shopping, and then he just pops up out of nowhere and, like... Okay. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. I got your wallet. I'll give you a hand here. I'll give you some info for you. Sure. Okay. I'll take my paper for you, but I'll, I'll get his info for you later. Hey, at, least I can, at least I can do it. I'm just sitting Hey, nothing else pressing to go to, though. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, do you remember, uh, what did this gentleman look like? Which one? Uh, the uh, manager. Oh, uh, he's wearing all black. Okay. Right? He yeah, was all in black? Eric. The manager, the Eric? The guy that got hit? No, no, Eric. Eric? Uh, he was all, uh, all in black? Uh, dark gray. Uh, uh, um, short facial hair. Black pants. Yeah. Yeah. You still live in uh, Long Beach, man? I'm living in my car, actually. I don't have a address. Uh, can I use that as your last known address? Uh, if, if we're going to get mail, 